Hi everybody and welcome to this video all about how to install the QStop Motion animation software on your computer and make your first stop motion animation using QStop Motion. So I've got Google Chrome open here and I'm just going to search for uh, QStop Motion and go to their home site and then I'm going to go over here to this QStop Motion free download button that opens another tab and then I'm going to go to um, click on the QStop Motion uh, logo itself there. And you can see just down here in the bottom right hand corner, it starts downloading it. it takes a couple of minutes. So I'm just going to pause the video there uh, until it's finished. So it's quite easy to download it, and then we'll look about how to install it. Okay, so there it is, downloaded there. I would have a couple of goes at it, which is why I've got these, these other ones here, but it has successfully downloaded. If it doesn't work for you, just have another go at that, those couple of steps, and it will uh, eventually, you will succeed if you keep trying. So it will have put it, it's downloaded it into your uh, downloads folder. The quickest way to get to that is in the button down here, the uh, the arrow that points up down, the, the, uh, this arrow there, gives this menu which includes open and show in folder I tend you can go open I tend to go show in folder and there you can see again you can see I had a couple of goes at this but you will have uh, you will have the QStop motion installation file there in your downloads folder so I'm going to click on that actually double click on that and that starts off the installation process which is quite quick because it's quite a small piece of software. You may get a couple of buttons asking you for things here, like do you want to allow this app uh, to make changes to your device? You'd say yes there, otherwise it won't install. And you get the install wizard, which you go through. Click next, and you have to agree to the license. Uh, this uh, section here about um, adding it to the direct directory path. Directory path, just click next there. Same here, same there. And it's fairly quick to install, just a few seconds. It's free software, this by the way, you won't need to pay for this. It will run on most machines. Can be a little bit tricky to install, so you just keep trying, and eventually you'll get this uh, this box here come up saying that the installation is complete. You could click finish there. Now, depending on your system setup, it may actually start the software then. If it doesn't, what you might have to do is go down here to uh, if you're using Windows 10 anyway, which you probably are, is uh, type here to search and then just type in or start typing QStop Motion, and there's the app there. It may even put a, a shortcut on your desktop. Try all of those things, and you should then be able to start up QStop Motion like this. And uh, up it pops, and you're offered these two options. First of all, if it's the first time you're using it. Create a new project or open a project file. If it's the first time you're using the software, you won't have any files to open. Although later on, when you've got when you've made a few animations, you will be using this button here. But create new project is what you want to do this first time. Click OK. A lot of people think you have to put in a project name and stuff at this point. Don't bother. Just click OK. You'll you'll have an uh, you'll have the opportunity to give it a name later on. Then it's all about this button over here that looks like a. a uh, video camera. There's two modes in, in QStop Motion. There's capture and there's view modes, or um, I think they're called camera. Yeah, camera on and off toggle really. In one of the modes is when you actually take your your frames of animation, your your footage to, that goes into creating your animation, and in the other mode is where you view it. And when you first open QStop Motion, uh, the uh, the, uh, let me think now. The uh, it's in the mode where you uh, would be viewing your animation afterwards after you've made it, but you haven't made it yet. So you need to click that camera button on there until it, what looks like some light comes out the front there, uh, and you're now in the mode for actually creating your animation. I put I just uh, put a web a webcam attached a webcam to my computer. And the way it works is you take your first frame with the space bar and you get a nice uh, little shutter sound. Then you move the object slightly, that's all though. The art of animation is only moving the object a little bit. And then another trick of animation is make sure your hand is out of the way before you click space bar again. In fact, a good trick is to move the object with the same hand that you click space bar with, so you can't leave your hand in the, in the frame then. So move it a little bit, wait a couple of seconds or a second or so. 
hit spacebar, move it, wait, hit spacebar, move slightly, wait, hit spacebar, and wait again, in fact. So move, wait, hit spacebar, wait again, just in case there's a little delay depending on your computer. Move, wait a little bit, hit the spacebar, wait again, move again, wait, spacebar, wait, move, then wait, spacebar, wait a little bit, and move. And you can see down here in the timeline how the uh, how these uh, the frames are appearing here. A lot of animation software that we're using this year will have this the, the, the idea of a timeline at the bottom where you see your frames there. Uh, Adobe Animate is the same as well. Now, to see your, uh, your wonderful animation, you need to toggle it into the other mode that QStop Motion has. So I'm clicking my camera again. It looks the same, but uh, it's very different. And whatever you do at this point, don't press the space bar because you're not in this mode. The space pressing the space bar can actually crash the software. So don't press space bar. Press the play button here instead, and you see your animation there. So very quickly, you can get some magical stop motion animation going. That's the end of this video. In the next video, I'm going to talk through how to save your work in QStop Motion because it's it's a little bit tricky. It's one of those things that's slightly tricky about QStop Motion. It's not a straightforward saving process. So um, have a go at that yourself. Enjoy yourself. Do a little bit of animation. And then I'll see you on the next video, which is about how to save your animation, how to save your work.